Hi everyone. So a lot of students were saying to me ki please bring some opportunities for second year students. So here it is the video for you guys. The deadline for this would be 20 September 2024. So make sure you register in this as soon as possible. Don't wait for the last moment. This is very great opportunity where you can enhance your skills through training, build experience through hands-on work. And also you will get 50,000 as a part of the scholarship, which is not very small amount. Okay. So don't miss this. And the scholarship I'm talking about is NXP, Women in Tech Scholarship and Mentorship Program. It was launched in 2022 to wom nurture women leaders in semiconductor and VLSI field in India. As you can see how India is expanding in semiconductor industry nowadays. So if you had a curiosity for the world of semiconductors, then you should definitely apply in this program. Now they have opened the applications for the academic year 24 to 25. Women candidates who are in the second year, basically third semester of their engineering are eligible in this and rest eligibility criteria you can check in their portal that the basic criteria. Okay. Yeah. One thing your branch should be electronics, computer science, IT or other related engineering courses like only the electronics or computer science branches are allowed in this. Okay. Duration of this program would be 52 weeks, that is one complete year, and you will also get the chance to visit their campus. Last year, students visited their Noida campus, okay? So, coming to the registration part, how to register in this? You just go to their portal, the link is in the description, kindly check that, and when you register, you will get the OTP on your mobile number, fill that, and you will get the login credentials. Make sure you note down the password because it is automatically generated from their end and then you will see a registration form which will ask your name, email, mobile number, DOB, basic details generally and then your 12th mark sheet, your semester 1 and semester 2 mark sheet. Okay. To get the extra edge from other students, you should have strong curricular background. You should have a high CGP for this. Okay. So coming to the selection process. It includes three stages. First one is your initial shortlisting. Second one is your one hour test that is aptitude and paragraph. And third one is your virtual interview. So initial shortlisting means they will shortlist 500 students from a pool of 5000 students. Like last year they did the same. And to stand out among other applicants, you should have a strong academic and co-curricular background. Uh, you should have a genuine interest in the technology, electronics, physics and semiconductors obviously because it is an XP woman in tech event. Okay. Your stage two includes aptitude and paragraph writing test. Now there are two parts aptitude. I'll suggest you to read the description thoroughly. I have attached a PDF named placement resource which is free for you. You can check the aptitude questions and uh, basic YouTube channels from where you can prepare your aptitudes. So it will be a one hour test and you will be judged basically on your aptitude skills. You will have 25 to 30 questions. Focus on logical reasoning, quantitative aptitude, mathematics, physics related questions and your electrical and semiconductor topics are necessary for this. So for paragraph, I can give you an example. Last year they gave the question, what do you think the auto drive in car should be launched by 2030 or not? So you should be prepared with situation based questions also and some semiconductor physics related questions also. Not some theoretical but your practical knowledge will play an important role in this. Okay. And uh, after clearing the stage 2 that is your aptitude you will be called for the interview. Last year it was virtual interview and you can expect the interview to be of 45 to 50 minutes and it will include a mix of technical and HR related questions. So, as you are in third semester, very new to interviews, I can suggest you some tips for the interviews. Don't write anything fake in your resume. Only write those skills for which you are well confident. Like, uh, yes, any question from the skill interviewer asked, I'll definitely give. Okay. Suppose you have mentioned like oops in your resume, some projects are there in resume. So be prepared because you are expected to know the questions from those make some unique projects and mention the skills which you know very well okay and on the hr related questions like uh, you can expect why are you interested in this scholarship program what appeals to you about this semiconductor and technology how do you think you are a suitable candidate for this program 
situation questions can also arise so for hr related questions prepare yourself your strength weakness where do you see yourself in 5 years these questions can also come okay you can't imagine what question can come for you so prepare your resume well and if you want to get your resume reviewed you can fill the form given in the description so yes description will prove to be a boon for you coming to what after the interview so they will after this so your enthusiasm to get selected in the program they will send you an selection email which and also you will receive perks and goodies and it will be a year long series of technical classes which your industry experts only take and uh, which will nurture the innovation inside you you will also have an opportunity to earn 50000 as a part of the scholarship amount of this program you can build the meaningful connections with mentors in the silicon technology you will have two three sessions a week and the time you can expect is two to three hours okay and these sessions will be based on your vlsi curriculum given on their website so you can check on their website there is a proper curriculum given like soc architecture your dft basics so for the aptitude for interviews prepare your some semiconductor knowledge for the interviews okay read some articles about the semiconductors some real life questions based on the semiconductors okay no theory but some practical knowledge about it you will be given regular assignments and tests at, at the end of the sessions which will like make the best out of it and you will also be visiting their campus meet your mentors and the top performing students will get the preference for internship in the fourth year this is one of the best thing of this program so if you are women candidate 2027 batch student you want to go in the semiconductor field you want to earn 50000 as a part of the scholarship you can definitely apply in this program okay for the aptitude part you check the description i have given the pdf and for interviews if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section for re resume you can upload your resume to the form given in the description and i'll review it okay so all the best and apply in it as soon as possible